Elle prétendait avoir guéri d'une tumeur au cerveau grâce à son régime alimentaire Voici l'histoire de Belle Gibson, l'influenceuse qui a menti sur son cancer. Nous sommes en 2013 à Melbourne, en Australie. Belle Gibson, une influenceuse, publie un livre de recettes intitulé « The World Pantry », le garde-manger intégral. Sans recettes pour manger délicieusement, revenir à l'essentiel et vivre une vie bien nourrie. By the time I got to the to 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 be sort of looking at Belle Gibson, I was certainly thinking that this was a potentially a, a kind of case of fraud. Belle Gibson affirme être atteinte d'une tumeur au cerveau depuis plusieurs années. J'ai eu un AVC au travail. Je n'oublierai jamais quand je me suis retrouvée seule dans le bureau du médecin, trois semaines après, dans l'attente de mes résultats. Il m'a appelé et il a dit « Vous avez une tumeur maligne au cerveau. Vous êtes en train de mourir. Il vous reste six semaines, quatre mois maximum. » One of the things that motivated me to do these stories in the beginning was that my wife had cancer. I knew enough about cancer by then to, to know that L'influenceuse annonce à ses abonnés que son cancer s'est propagé dans le sang, la rate et le foie. Mais dans son livre, Belle Gibson affirme également que son cancer est en rémission depuis qu'elle a arrêté les traitements classiques comme la radiothérapie et la chimiothérapie au profit d'une alimentation plus saine. Je me prenais en main pour sauver ma propre vie grâce à la nutrition, la patience, la détermination et l'amour. She had already been in um, some of the women's magazines. She'd been on the cover of sort of lifestyle magazine here. She'd been given uh, an award by one of the women's magazines. Avec ses 200 000 abonnés sur Instagram, Belle Gibson s'appuie sur sa communauté pour élargir son entreprise. Elle lance une application pour accompagner son livre de recettes. It took seven months worth of development and I put everything that I knew along my journey with cancer, nutrition and wellness and put it on the most accessible device possible. Son application doit même bientôt faire son apparition sur l'Apple Watch, le nouveau produit d'Apple qui vient alors de sortir sur le marché. I was just astonished. Like, it just makes no sense at all. This woman has been all across the media. Nobody seems to have done any fact-checking on her story at all. When I went and searched online, everything that she'd done on social media longer than two years ago had completely disappeared. And it looked to me like she had wiped her history up until the point where she launched the business. And that made me really suspicious. The, the whole pantry was her brand. You know, she had a company which was registered and I checked the corporate records for the company and the birth date that she'd given Melbourne and i interviewed her for about an hour and it was a, just one of the strangest interviews i've ever done she just suddenly started to kind of retreat from some of the things that she'd been saying and she tried to start telling me that you know she didn't actually know if she had five cancers after all face au doute émis à son encontre belle gibson affiche une nouvelle version des faits and so she came up with this new story which was that this doctor had misdiagnosed her and now she realized that she might not have all these cancers after all. When I asked her who the doctor was, you know, she couldn't give me his name. Everything became very vague at that point. En 2015, Belle Gibson finit par accepter une interview dans l'émission australienne 60 minutes contre la somme de 75 000 dollars, soit environ 47 000 euros. I lived for years with the fear that I was dying. 
And that is horrible. Au fil de cet entretien, l'influenceuse démasquée tente de sauver les apparences face aux imprécisions et aux incohérences de son récit. How can we believe anything you say now? When you hit rock bottom, there is only an opportunity to be honest and to heal and to apologize. And I'm here to do that. She had 200,000 followers from all around the world and they 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 were treating her like Jesus, you know, like they they thought she was this this kind of miraculous idol um, that they could follow. Bell Gibson avait promis de reverser une partie des gains de son application à la famille d'un enfant atteint d'une tumeur au cerveau. La famille affirme n'avoir reçu aucun argent. What she did was such a flagrant lie and on such a huge scale and it really did have a, a, a profound impact on her followers. They were shocked. By then her reputation was so trashed. L'influenceuse est poursuivie devant la justice et en 2017, elle est condamnée à payer 400 000 dollars, soit 275 000 euros. Une amende qu'elle déclare être incapable de payer. She's never paid that fine. And essentially, she, she's never really been punished financially, um, except that, of course, she lost her whole business. En 2021, alors qu'elle a passé les deux dernières années à voyager entre Bali et le continent africain, Bell Gibson est à nouveau rattrapée par la justice. Cette fois, une partie de ses biens est saisie pour payer l'amende. You know, I think she's a very troubled person. It's, it's highly likely that she's got some kind of personality disorder of some kind. There's an Ethiopian community in Melbourne where she lives, and she started turning up at their community meetings dressed in sort of traditional, like almost like a hijab, like a headscarf. I think the greatest power that we have is that we are blessed to live in the diaspora at this time. So our voice is much greater and has more power than our oppressed brothers and sisters. They had no idea who she was and they sort of embraced her and then they discovered who she was. How many of our people are sitting in prisons? Lors de sa condamnation en 2017, la juge n'avait pas écarté la possibilité que Belle Gibson ait pu être victime d'une série de fantasmes sur son état de santé.